Good morning, students. Today offers another opportunity <clears throat> for a small history lesson from my basement. You know, I think in today's times, as we drag into the unknown month of our COVID-19 pandemic with 300,000 deaths across our country, we need hope. And again, I believe that you can find hope in history and you can find hope in a festival that occurs this time of year. I'd like to bring your attention to a holiday called Hanukkah. Hanukkah is celebrated by the Jewish people. Now, before we get concerned about the separation of church and state, in school, we can certainly teach you about religion as a matter of history. We are not proselytizing as a matter of faith. But I do believe that there are stories in history which continue to impact us. And I do believe that some of those stories are associated with people of faith. In this case, the Jewish people, also known as God's chosen people. Hanukkah means dedication in Hebrew. So what got dedicated? How did this happen? And how is it a story of hope? The eight-day holiday celebrates a rededication of the Temple of Jerusalem after it was retaken by the Maccabees, a group of Jewish warriors from the Greeks in 164 BC. If you want to talk about a group that has been persecuted throughout human history, Let's look at the Hebrew people, enslaved for centuries by the Egyptians, lost their homeland several times. Here we have in the uh, BC era, but it also happened in 70 AD when they were kicked out of Rome, kicked out by the Romans from their uh, homeland and did not return until after World War II. Take 1,948 minus 70. So close to two millennia before they returned. So keep that in mind. The Jewish people throughout their history of thousands of years have been persecuted, but have prospered. Have been put down, but yet have overcome. Hanukkah celebrates, as I said, that Maccabean revolt. The Maccabees were a type of uh, Jew who um, were fighting the uh, member of the sect of the Greek Empire to recapture Jerusalem and the subsequent uh, rededication of the Second Temple. Now, the story goes that as they were in the temple <clears throat> and they only had enough oil to light the lights for but one night but the oil lasted for eight nights. Hope, faith, overcome. And they were able to have their celebrations, their uh, worship services for these eight nights of Hanukkah. Now, today, Hanukkah has become a Jewish holiday commemorating the rededication, celebrating it. If you've ever seen the instrument where they have eight candles with one in the middle, the one in the middle being the attendant, and the eight candles signifying the eight days, and they light one each day, it is an eight-day festival. It has traditional foods like... Uh, Latkes, potato pancakes, it's celebrated <clears throat> with games using a Jewish toy called the dreidel. So I bring this to your attention for a couple of reasons. Maybe you've heard the term Hanukkah and have had no idea what it means. Maybe you knew that the Hanukkah was being celebrated as a Jewish holiday. But did you know it's a story of hope? Did you look to history 
because sometimes I think in our own small world that we don't understand what came before us. And certainly all of this is new. We have to look to the lessons of history. So have you looked at the persecution of the Jewish people and see how they have been persecuted, put down, but overcome and prospered for multiple millennia? So to our Jewish friends, happy Hanukkah as you conclude your festival of lights today. And to our Jewish friends, we look to you as an example of hope, as an example of what could be, as an example of a people who have overcome prosecution for several thousands of years. And you are still here and you are still prospering. So we can be here and we can prosper and we can be ready and we can be respectful and we can be safe because we go, we're supposed to go, we're there on time. And each and every day we're using our God-given abilities to do the very best we can. So to all of us, let us all have a happy Hanukkah. Let us all remember what it takes to have faith and to believe and to overcome. And let us all understand the lessons of history that unfortunately we there are those among us who are not the first to be persecuted, but let us hope they are the last. Thank you and have a great day.